This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News. From WFAA.com, an off-duty Dallas police officer was shot in the hand and a suspect killed on an Amtrak train in downtown Dallas yesterday. Authorities said one suspect was wounded and another fatally shot. Officers and three ambulances could be seen on the scene at the Union Station at Houston and Young Streets in downtown Dallas. The shooting appeared to have taken place on board a train as emergency workers could be seen going in and out of a train at the scene. An emotional woman was seen exiting the train in handcuffs. She was crying, he's dead, he's dead, but did not respond when asked the identity of who she was talking about. The Associated Press reports light snow fell yesterday in northern and western parts of Texas as thousands of electrical customers started the day without power. The National Weather Service says snow fell Monday in Abilene, Amarillo, Gainesville, Decatur, Lubbock, and Odessa. A statement from the city of Odessa says municipal officers delayed opening until mid-morning due to the weather and road conditions. Crews from electric provider Encore worked to restore power to nearly 6,000 residential and business customers, mainly in West Texas. Rainy conditions in the Dallas-Fort Worth area delayed morning traffic. The AP reports from Bay City. Police say a Texas woman shot by her husband has been upgraded to serious condition, and she's aware that he killed their four children. Bay City Police on Monday said Laura Gonzalez, who was wounded by Jose Alvila Alva before he shot their youngsters and killed himself, remains hospitalized. A coroner has identified the children who were all under the age of five as Danielle Gonzalez, Sean Gonzalez, Cecilia Gonzalez, and Miguel Gonzalez. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News.